Hi, my name is Mensah Hugh Samoa. I am the product manager for online office. Right. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing our point of sale and how to use it. This is actually an introductory video. You can use it and uh, you can just log in. Uh, this, this is the admin, right? And then the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is our URL. You can actually visit our URL. All right. So once you click on on this, right, you will then go uh, um, log into the application. Now, once you log into the application, we have a fictitious company, uh, iLab, right? And then um, this is me logged in, right? So here is where you have your company name, and then uh, yeah. All right, so you go into your home tab, right? So this is actually your home tab once you log in, and that actually greets you, and then gives you the the summary of your financial report, right? So it's going to talk about today, this week, this month, and then this financial year. Okay. Now here, in here, as you can see, we have user management, contacts, products, uh, purchase, sales, stock transfer, um, stock adjustments, expenses, payments, accounts, reports, administrative markup notifications, and so on and so forth. Now, here, this is what you can do. Once you log in, you can then change your profile by click on this profile icon. Right, you just click on this and then you go into your profile icon. And then these are the information that you what, what that you can actually change. Right? Now, just to speed up things, speed up process, we are now going to be going into your point, our point of sale by clicking on this, click on the point of sale, and then entering in the cash in hand so what amount of money are you starting off with for the day right so this is something that is outside of the uh, regular amount just click on open register okay okay and then this is where you have uh, uh, this thing, uh, the point of sale now bear in mind I'm actually online uh, my internet connection is a little bit slow but the thing is that here you select your business location, right? So we have two business locations. All of these ones are in the settings. You can change your business locations, add more business locations to it. And then here you can then specify what is it that you want, right? Is it the product wholesale? Are you selling in wholesale or discount, right? Or any of this else. This one too, you can actually change it to suit your, uh, your preference, right? So in this particular case, maybe you have wholesale pricing. You have normal pricing. And then, uh, which is uh, the selling price, the wholesale price, and then maybe uh, any kind of you know uh, price and category that you want, you can actually set them up. And then here on your right hand side is where you see your products, right? So we are focused on efficiency. So most of the things can be done with a keyboard, right? If you hold on this particular icon, you can see that we have our keyboard shortcuts that you can use, right? So in this video, but I will be using uh, the mouse so that it actually becomes visually uh, um, good for you to see. So you can see here, you can then pick your product. So let me just pick a product, right? You pick a product, you can then increase the quantity, right? And then as you can see that the subtotal is here. Once you just keep on in increasing it, you can then see how it is done. Right? And then afterwards, you can then click on multiple payment method, right? So this way you can then specify your Okay, so in here you can see that that is this way you can then you know uh, input the amount that the person is giving to you, right? The payment method and then uh, the, the, the the payment account that you want to you know take the money from, right? Okay, and then then you then put in whatever note that you want to put in here, and then you can then finalize payment, right? So the person pays more obviously, uh, then you have to you know change it for the person, but then it's the other way around. You see a balance, right? And then this is the final payment. Now all of these ones are also being triggered by a keyboard shortcut, right? Okay. So the keyboard shortcut you can then and then and, and then as you can see, so it's it will automatically print it out for you. And this is where you will have um, the, this thing. So it's just showing you you can then customize even the design of this one, right? So this is a very, very, very efficient application. We've put in a lot of effort into it. Yes. And then you can then uh, click on print. So I'm gonna hit cancel on this one. So that is it. That is the point of sale in summary. And as you can see that we have our keyboard shortcuts here. We have our draft. You can draft it. You can suspend the, uh, uh, the order, right? And then you can just click on cash. This one is just an instant one, right? Okay. 
Ça y est, Close. Okay. And then you can then close your register. So after you're done with the break, you can then close your, uh, your register. Okay. So here, in here, we have user management. Management in line. I'm actually using an internet connection to sell this a bit slower. All right, so here you have your users. You can then man this is where you actually manage your users. You can then add more users to it. You can then edit uh, the privileges that each user has, and then you can even specify the rules that you want to give to these people. All right now, obviously, we have sales commission agents, so these are people who are not going to log in, but people who will definitely uh, be, be part of the uh, your selling process so here you see that we have admin admin has all the privileges and then by default you can actually delete it so we have created just two right rows and then as you can see here is quite a lot so it's it's it is very very good for the you to you know have time and then just go through these permissions and what the user can or cannot do right so yeah you can then you know play around with these ones so we have the contact whereby we have our suppliers our customers and our customers group we have our products right you can then add products you know uh, add products and then add a lot of information uh, to here right you have our purchases you can then you know list out of our purchases our sales right so all the sales that we have today we've had today and then all the sales uh, like going back you can even set up a time and or like a date record and then be able to figure out what day and then or what kind of sale that was made so here this is all that you can see here right? so you have all this information uh, being given out to you right and then here we have stock transfer where you transfer from one end to the other right we have stock adjustment this is the, these are products which you know where uh have, have been in bad shape or something like that something happened to it right and then with that what is it that you're going to do about it right we have our expenses so our expenses obviously is the amount of money that's actually going out of the company we have our payment methods so this is where we specify our payment methods and then we also look at our balance sheets whether our sheets have been balanced our cash flow and then so on and so forth so here we have our report our report is very very big as you can see we have uh, quite a lot of reports that are done okay so we have our we, we have a very detailed reports here you can see here profit by uh, by by products this way you see your you know your, your profits or loss right and then you have the categories of the brand and the location the print by invoice and so on and so forth so in here we have quite a lot of this thing that you must spend time and then you know go through right so this video is actually a summary video let me just you know give that in so we will not be going into detail about, about you know some certain things and then this is where you make backup it's actually very good and very efficient that you actually make a backup of your your application now once you are installing this thing on your local machine we then show you how this thing is done how our programmers or technical staff will actually guide you through the process and then this is where we have our notification templates with in, in garden to sms uh, to emails how you're going to then set them up and then here it is where we have our business settings right so business settings is also a very large scale thing where uh, we've, we've taken a lot of things into consideration whereby you can then go through you can then go through your tax your products uh, and so many other things uh, as you can see your sale your purchase your dashboard how it's supposed to be and then the modules so our modules let me just uh, briefly explain here this is where maybe you want to add a little more features if if, if your business is into restaurant and stuff you can then add kitchen right for an, an right and then the same thing with tables so some 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 people use tables so maybe you want to figure out which table and how to track them all of those ones are being added and then we have our human resource right so this is where we have a lot of things regarding our human resource but mostly in terms of attendance and payroll these are the major things and then if and and and, and then like holidays and stuff like that and then these are essentials right so these are things that you would want to keep which are, are obviously private right so this is the summary of the application right it, it is a very very good application um it is excellent right so you know this is it this is just a, if, if there's anything that you do not understand feel free to actually reach to us we'll be doing an in-depth um, discussion about it if if you don't really understand anything all right thank you have a nice day